Hey, what's up guys, Lyndon here, and today we are focusing on one of the most powerful accessories to the HubSpot platform, and that is the HubSpot mobile app. In a world where we are definitely always on our phones, we need to know, we need to have a lot of the information directly on our fingertips. And that is one thing that has, HubSpot has been able to give us. Let's check it out. So after downloading the HubSpot app and you've actually had the ability to log in, one of the first things that you're actually going to see, especially with the updates recently within the interface, is all of your upcoming tasks, right? So the good thing is that the HubSpot really gives you the ability to put the first thing and the first and most important thing in front of you every single day. So in this instance, you're seeing what the upcoming meetings are and what the upcoming tasks are. If it is that I want to be able to look at what all of my new meetings are, I'll look at view and I'll see a list of all of the meetings, all right? If you look down to the bottom, you're gonna see what you have in your in front of you today as to all of your tasks and meetings, what's in your agenda. You have your contacts, you have your deals, you have your activities, and you have more, all right? So when you go across to your contacts, you're gonna have a list of all of your contacts that's here within the CRM, and right across to your right, you would have the list of your respective companies. Now, here's a pretty cool thing, that you have the ability to, um, look at what the what you have segmented to you. So for instance, in this instance, we have, I can look at either all of the companies or the companies are just assigned to me as a sales professional. And that is one of the things that a, an administrator within HubSpot can give someone access to. Also, what I've done in, as it relates to the companies, I have actually now broken down these companies into specific industries. And this is really key as it relates to account-based management right, or account-based selling. So I can look at all of the automotive companies that I have on my list, excuse me, or I can look at all of the companies that fall into the financial industry, or I can look at all of the companies uh, that's, well, like all of the regional companies that I would have been able to identify so far. Another good thing is that if it is that you're looking at targeting specific accounts, you do have your targeted, your targeted accounts there. And these are filters that you create on the desktop and they show up within your CRM, right? The same thing applies for your contacts. So for instance, I have contact broken up by the person's job title, right? So I have a C-suite or folks that are in the automotive industry. So if I were to type automotive, I would see a list of all the people that are working in automotive organizations. If I were to go a little bit further, I, so in that instance, I broke that one down by industry, but here I wanna look at it from the standpoint of a C-suite. So let's say I want to look at everyone that has a senior level position. And this is what HubSpot gives us the ability to do. And you build this <clears throat> within your operations team or your, your, you build this with, let's say, for instance, your admin or anyone that has that level of permissions to build out your filters um, so that your rest of your team will have the respective access. All right. Uh, the next thing you want to be able to look at, which is most important, is your deals. And you have specific pipelines. Now, you do get the ability to look at two pipelines within HubSpot, right? So if you look at the top, you will see there's pipeline here, and I could choose either sales enablement or CRM implementation. Based upon the tier of HubSpot that you are using, you will have the ability to add more pipelines to this list. So again, your sales team, when they are inputting information into the deal section, they can choose the respective pipeline that this deal is um, suited for. Now, if you go through, to, if you scroll through, based upon how you would have set up your, your deal stages, you would now have the ability to see, okay, um, whatever your deal stages are. So we have prospect contacted, um, discovery meeting, but here we, it's seeing that, okay, we'll have a few people that's qualified to buy, um, uh, quotation submitted, proposal review, um, we haven't received any purchase orders as yet, closed one, closed lost, and deferred. All of these here represent the respective pipelines, sorry, the respective deals at the specific stages of your pipeline. The next thing that we have, which is really important, is your activities. Oh, let me just let me go back to do one thing, which is it's just as easy to add a deal to your pipeline because you can use the top left-hand side and you will be able to put in company name, you'll be able to choose the pipeline, that they can use, that they need to put the deal for, put in the amount at the stage that is actually this, that deal is actually at, uh, project this re the respective close date, 
um, and then just save it from there, all right? Uh, the next thing that we wanna look at is activities. So when we go to activities, you have a list of all of the activities. Again, you can look at the same way that you would see specific activities on your uh, desktop. It's the same way that you're gonna see activities showing up within your the mobile version of your CRM. So here we have all of my activities, a full, a full list, but I can now break this down by email opens, email clicks, email sent, lead visits, prospect visits, and prospect visits in itself would mean the companies or the networks that is bringing traffic to your site that you can now take and make a strategic decision on as to how you want to go after these particular companies or whether or not you just want to maybe pay attention to see what else is happening. Um, document views. So let's say, for instance, you have brochures and stuff that's uploaded or um, a proposal that's uploaded within your CRM and you want to take a, you want to, you want to share that with a customer and then you want to also see if the customer has been looking at it. Well, this is how you can actually, once you have it loaded from on the desktop side, you would be able to see the customers that would have viewed their respective documents. Again here, meetings, and of course your forms. The other area, which is down to the far left-hand side, is, which is, sorry, right-hand side, which is more, right? More gives you the ability to do a couple of things. And the first thing, for, the first thing that I like to show um, users, especially the senior executives, is the digest. And based upon the level that you are at, you will see that this is actually telling you what, what needs to happen, right? And um, senior executives or sales managers get the ability to really look at this and say, okay, this deal is late. So you can ask for update by the respective team member, all right? Um, so we have a couple of these that show you up late here. A deal needs updating, all right? So you can ask for an update. And if a deal has been won, let's say, for instance, a sales representative would have um, close a particular opportunity, you will get that information there as well. All right, as you scroll down, you will get an understanding as to what your marketing activity has been. So versus this month to last month, you will see as to, as to exactly what your sessions were, contacts were, and customers. And here, if it is that you're working with a team, you will see the deal leader board. Now you can add and remove widgets, but it's not a lot of widgets. So you just really have deal updates, marketing performance and leaderboard. I am pretty sure that based upon the tier that you're working with within HubSpot, you will have the ability to add more widgets here, but for, this, for, the, for the tier that we are using right now, in this example, we only have these three. Right. Another area to look at within the section that says more would be your marketing emails. Right. And what this will do is that every email that you send out. So these are some of the emails that I would have sent out to date between last month and this month. Um, this will give you a little cluster or a little idea graphically as to how well are some of these these emails doing. And it will also give you an idea in terms of deliverability. And of course, how many people subscribed, how many hard bounds, who converted you to spam, and a breakdown as to where are your customers looking at this from, <clears throat> excuse me, are they looking at this on their mobile devices or on their desktops between open and clicks, right? On to the right side, you will have a list of all of the emails that you would have sent out and you would have seen what your open rate would have been to date. Right. Uh, the other one is, for, of course, the business card scanner. Now, what I've, I would have done a demo with this business card scanner uh, in the past. So, and I'll just maybe point that to you guys. I will point you to, to that with a with a link that's going to be in the description. But um, what really what really this does is that it recognizes the business card and it will then take a snapshot of the business card and OCR all of the information and try to put it in the respective place. The user will just have the ability of correcting any information that is not, that is incorrect. And um, from there, they will then be able to save and that contact will now be a new contact, right? Conversations, conversations really represent all of the conversations that you are having via your respective mediums. So meaning that you have web chat, you have Facebook, um, if you have those two particular platforms, if you have your tracking code set up on your website and a customer is asking you a specific question, then you will see the conversation showing up within here, right? And this would be a conversation coming from off the website. Also, if it is that you have, you have it set up through Facebook Messenger, I don't have any conversations here as yet, or maybe let's look and see if there's a closed one, right? If it is that you have Facebook Messenger set up within your CRM and customers are reaching out to you there, based upon what the product or services conversations here could actually be assigned to respective sales reps so then they can pick up the conversation or you can have your your call center team uh, respond to these internally 
uh, directly, all right? Uh, also, we have, uh, well, of course, you have tasks here again, but as you first thing that we saw to the top, and of course, you have your settings as it relates to um, keyboard. Now, this is a pretty interesting one because we now have um, a HubSpot keyboard that is now enabled, and I'll do a separate demo for that, a separate video for that. I'll put a link in, in the description. But the keyboard in itself really now gives you the ability to access things like snippets um, and templates and such so that you can now put those things directly into an email based upon whoever you're speaking with within whatever app that uses the keyboard, which is pretty cool. So you have your caller ID as well. You also have your notifications. Another thing, especially for folks who are managing different multiple accounts, is that you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have two or three HubSpot accounts using the same email address, you will have the ability of now switching in between accounts just based upon having that one email address connected to all of your respective accounts. And there you have it. Simple, sleek, functional, user-friendly. What else do we need? All right. So if you don't have the HubSpot mobile app, it is available to you on Android and also iOS. I recommend that you get it. You will not regret using it for both yourself as a business owner and also as a sales professional. All right, guys. Take care. Peace.